Where is that, Gray? What did you get? What did we get in the mail? Yeah, that's just the package slip. What did we get? A caterpillar. A ca is that the hungry caterpillar? <gasps> what does it say? <laughs> it says, happy birthday. Happy birthday, caterpillar. Yeah, is your birthday gonna be hungry caterpillar theme? Oh, wow. You wanna open them? You wanna open them? They're for your birthday party. Mm-hmm. You want me to open it? What do you say? Open caterpillar. Anthony and I are trying to teach him to like ask for things instead of just like yelling the same thing, like open, open, open. And so we're teaching him to say like, please mama, can you open this? Please mama, can you get me this? Okay. Okay, here, let me open it. Here you go. I think he thinks they're like a toy. They're just plates for your party so we can eat food on them. So I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in a different vlog, but Grayson is gonna turn three in April. April 11th is his birthday. And I have decided to go with a Hungry Caterpillar themed birthday party. It's not like a usual theme, especially for a three-year-old. When I looked online, there was a lot of like one-year-old Hungry Caterpillar themes. But you guys, this kid is obsessed with Hungry Caterpillar. If you like follow our vlogs, you know like from a very early age, he has had this book memorized and all the time he just spouts out the words to it over and over and over. I've decided to do a Hungry Caterpillar birthday party. Um, I've been looking on Pinterest, which I haven't used Pinterest in like forever, um, for ideas and I think it's gonna be really cute. So I got, I started ordering supplies and things just cause I didn't know with the mail being so slow, like how long it would take everything to get here. So I got Hungry Caterpillar plates, napkins. I also got dessert plates too. I'm gonna get like green streamers so that we can like create like a wall of like a picture wall with just like dark green and light green streamers. I got a banner that says like happy birthday and it's like hungry caterpillar themed. So I think that's just what I'm gonna go with. Um, there's a baker that lives in my neighborhood and she does like professional cakes and so I was gonna reach out to her to see if she could do like a a Hungry Caterpillar theme cake. Um, and then if you know the Hungry Caterpillar book, he eats like apples, plums, pears, whatever. And then on Saturday, he eats through a whole bunch of things. A uh, piece of cherry pie, an ice cream cone, sausage, salami. So I plan on trying to replicate that and putting plates of all those foods. And I found free printables online to like put them in all the foods to like tell people like this is why I have this out. Um, because of COVID, I mean it is getting better. Um, vaccines are coming out now, but um, it's still kind of iffy on getting together and things. So we're gonna keep the birthday party kind of small. We're just gonna do like my family, Anthony's family, um, you know, siblings or parents, and maybe like a grandparent or two, but that's it. Like, we're not gonna invite friends that live around here or anything just because we wanna keep it like kind of small. But yeah, so I'm really excited. My sister Allison said that she would help me like set up and, and like come up with ideas and stuff. I need to create the invitations next. I know I could just text everyone, but I wanna keep like that hard copy to put like in his memory book. Be or like I have a memory box. I also have a memory book too. But anyway, so that's my plan is I just want to start working on that. I feel like it's gonna come faster than I think. And so I just wanna be prepared and have as little stress as possible, especially since I have two kids now, like it gets a little crazy. Grayson is waiting patiently. He wants to watch something. What do you want to watch? Do you want to watch Letters or do you want to watch Little Einsteins? Letters. Letters, okay. He is obsessed with YouTube and he just wants to watch like ABC songs. He's so into letters. That's another theme I could have gone with for his birthday party, but that's kind of like vague and random. I also started getting him onto Little Einsteins, but that's kind of iffy. Like some episodes he likes and some of them, like I don't think he understands. It might be a little too old for him. 
Okay, so I put on a show for him. An update on potty training if you care at all. Um, it's going okay. I've realized that if I do not remind him often enough to go on the potty, he will pee himself. He still has not gotten to the point where he tells me that he has to pee. Now, as soon as he pees and he wets his pants, because I'm keeping him in pants now, he runs immediate to me, immediately to me and he knows like he messed up. But he has not gone to that space where like he tells me like, hey, I have to pee. And poop is just he does not go on the potty. Um, he just poops his pants and it doesn't matter. I like I'll put him on the potty and then like five minutes later he poops. So that's really difficult. Pee is a lot easier, but yeah, the other day I just thought that you know, he was getting more of a handle on it and so I didn't remind him as often to use the bathroom and he ended up like peeing twice. So that was really bad. So I just have to remind him more often and keep on him about it. But so it's going okay. I feel like we should be further on in the process, but maybe not. Porter is sleeping, he's taking a nap. Um, he should be up soon though. He has been doing a little bit better at night. The past two or three nights, he's only been waking up twice a night, which is a lot better than what he was. So we are getting better, I think, but um, he still wants me to hold him constantly, so my arms are like getting a workout every day. Um, I'll just film little bits here and there this weekend. Um, we don't have much going on, although it is supposed to be super nice, so I'm hoping to like get outside and play and maybe go on a walk or something. Um, Anthony and I took the boys on a walk the other day, and it just felt so nice to just get outside and have some fresh air and made me miss it because in the summer and the fall, we used to go on a walk like every day after Anthony got off of work. And then of course in the winter, like that's really hard to do because it's cold outside. So I'm really excited for spring, for this nice weather. I'm hoping we'll have nice weather like on Grayson's birthday so we can have a lot of stuff outside, COVID friendly, things like that. With Ohio, you really never know though. So <laughs> we'll see. Okay, it's later in the day and we got another package from Amazon. So I'm assuming it's more decorations. Here. There we go. What is it? <gasps> what is that? Oh. It's a very hungry caterpillar. Is it the very hungry caterpillar? It's more decorations. So this is one of the streamers. I got it. I got another dark green one too. It must be coming later. And then this is the Happy birthday, Hungry Caterpillar banner that I got. Want to open? You want to open it? Well, it's for your party. We don't need to open it. <laughs> he just wants to like open it all now, but I know he'll just destroy it. So. Open it? Oh boy, how do I get out of this one? Open it, this. So I was able to distract Grayson and tell him that we could go outside. Bye -bye. And then I was able to sneakily put away his decorations in the basement. I think I won't have him open up any more decorations because he's just going to want to open them all. We're outside. Jack and Jill ran up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Distraction works wonders with toddlers. Oh, Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick, Jack jumped over, Jack and Jill ran up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Porter is still napping, so I have this monitor here so that I can catch him. He's taking his second nap, so I'm waiting for him to wake up. It should be soon. So as you can see, there's still a little snow left, but a lot of it's melted. It's been so sunny here lately, but it's actually pretty cold out today. Kind of bummed. Look who's awake. This guy has been sleeping good today. He took two two-hour naps. That's awesome, Porter. You never know what you're going to get with Porter. Sometimes he wakes up from his second nap at 2.30, and sometimes, like today, he wakes up at 4. You just never know what you're going to get. He's currently working on a poop, I think. You pushing it out? 
Yeah, his poop smells so bad, you guys. I don't know what's in my breast milk, but it makes his poop smell real, real bad. <laughs> Gray just came running in here. What? What'd you say? Okay, sorry about that. Anthony called me. Um, okay, Gray came running in. So we were outside while Porter was sleeping, like I told you guys. And the only way I can get Grayson to ever come inside is I have to bribe him with candy because he loves being outside so much. So I told him, I'll give you a piece of candy if we go inside. He says, okay. We go inside. I give him a piece of candy. I give him a Reese's peanut butter cup. We have mini ones. It's really hard to give Grayson candy right now because Anthony and I gave that up for lunch. So it's like, oh, I really wish I could have one right now, but I can't. Anyway, so I gave one to him. I went upstairs to get Porter, which why I was telling you earlier, this is not the shirt that Porter started out with this morning. <laughs> he was in a different shirt, a long sleeve shirt, and he pooped. And somehow, I don't know how this happened, when I changed him, somehow poop got on like his shoulder of his shirt. And I was like, how did that happen? So then I had to change him. And it's like halfway through the day, so I didn't want to put a whole new outfit on him. So I just got like, we have a whole bunch of onesies. These are all like Grayson's onesies that worked in the summer. And so we don't usually put them on Porter very much because it's cold outside. But I was like, we're not really going outside because it's cold. Anyway, so I put them in this onesie. This is a Mickey Mouse onesie. Our friends got it for us. Well, for Gray, but passed on to Porter. So anyway, that whole fiasco happened. And so I was changing Porter or getting him out of his sleep sack. And all of a sudden, Grayson runs in. And it's that clip of him saying, want another one? And he had climbed up onto our counter and got another candy, a Tootsie Roll this time, and ran in here and said, Need another one? <laughs> so I gave it to him because I didn't want him freaking out while I was talking to Anthony on the phone. Oh, this day is just... A little crazy. Grayson is a little demanding, but at least he's like not lying and he comes to me to open it. But I think that's because he doesn't know how to open it on his own. I think if he knew how to open candy, he would like go through it and all of them without telling me. So eventually I think I'm going to have to like hide the candy jar because obviously he can reach it. He just climbs up on the stool and then reaches for it. Um, but for right now, he doesn't know how to open them yet. So I think we're okay. Why you? Rolly poly rolling everywhere. Ah, yeah, you are. Are you talking? Are you talking? You feel so good after that nap? Yeah. He's so close to crawling, he can crawl backwards or scoop backwards, I guess I should say. He's starting to use his legs now in addition to his arms, so not too much longer he's gonna be crawling everywhere which i'm hoping 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 that means i won't have to carry him all the time but we will see grayson is playing with his berenstein bears book i haven't taken his coat off yet whoops uh, this is the berenstein bears go to the doctor i got this book for him to like normalize going to the doctor so he's not so scared it didn't really work he's terrified last time we went to the doctor for his two-year-old checkup um, but it has stickers in the front and the back of the book. And Gray loves stickers. And so he just discovered, ooh, there's stickers in this book. And so now he's taking them all off. Wonderful. And then the problem is, is he just puts them on the floor. And then they just leaves them there. And then there's a whole mess. 